Howdy, Drake Hugh again, and I'm uh, busy looking at what I can buy here when I just realized I could buy an Interdictor Star Destroyer. <laughs> Finally, I can get something that's bigger than a small little frigate. Oh yeah, because I have enough reputation. The Sinar fleet system's already produced an Interdictor, the Immobilizer 418 cruiser based on a 600 meter Vindictor class heavy cruiser. Also used for the Inversa class picket cruiser. Although it was decently armed for its size, it was a high priority vessel that was... generally unable to hold its own in combat, especially if the battle involved Star Destroyers and comparable vessels. Alright, so I'm not going to be using it against really big ships, uh, cruisers and the likes. But, but, and I did some testing off camera with this, I'm so sorry. I can dock my, uh, my spring blossom to it. It looks ugly as sin. The bridge ship ordered at shipyard. is god-awful, but it's fine because it's my ship. And that's the all that I care about. The advanced hull plating made from a mixture of traditional metals and advanced polymers has been ramped up significantly in recent years. Hull plating. I, I don't know if I actually need to buy hull plating. I'm just going to buy it anyway because why not? <laughs> it's probably a very stupid thing to do. But, uh, at the moment, yeah. I don't even know how much cargo I can carry. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll spend a little bit just to be able to carry, like, lightweight stuff. Like, a hundred, maybe. I don't really know. I'm not... Cargo bay extension. I'm Install. not using this thing for, uh... This service is a time-limited special engine tuning. Installed. I'm not going to be using it to this transport goods. Hell no. Maybe not right now. But yes. Boost extension I wanted installed. to go ahead and finally get a Duplex damn decent ship. Installed. At the fine low Rate low price of... Installed. Well, okay, of the high price that Navigation I bought it at. Command installed. Singularity engine time accelerate. Special command software MK trading system extension. In transporter device installed. But look, it's fine, okay? <laughs> the triplex scanner increases the gravidar scanner range by. It's actually not that expensive to buy, so I might just upgrade that. Your cargo bay will be extended by a certain amount of cargo unit. Cargo bay yeah, extension. Sure, 218. So yes, I figured I'd just go ahead and uh, get these ships here. Get all this upgraded and everything, and... Uh, yes, that just totally shot me back down to about... Oh god, only 2 million. But on the bright side, I finally have a ship that is... Damn well decent. Yes! <laughs> it just feels so good. So let me just go ahead and uh, change ships real quick. Behold the Imperial Interdictor's Ugly Ascend Bridge. But yes! It's finally a bridge! I can finally just look out at my ship. What I've always wanted to do for so damn long. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh my god. That's just brilliant. I love it so much. The uh, ship itself is uh, very slow, of course. It's, I mean, it's massive, so you would expect it would not be a quick and easy ship to, to travel through, but that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and freight exchange real quick with my Ethereal Damsel. And we'll just uh, trade over that, uh, that jump drive if I can. Yes. Jump drive. Transfer. I can actually transfer it. Thank goodness. And I guess we'll transfer some of that cargo on over. Energy cells transferred. I should actually probably increase my cargo size a little bit more. Maybe. Just. Just maybe. Uh, I don't actually have any weapons on this ship either at the moment, which is another bit of a big problem. <laughs> but I. I do believe I have enough. Attention, flight 287 has been cancelled due to xenon activities en route. Would all passengers please contact reception on level 4 immediately? Damn it, Siri. Space Siri. 
Uh, I don't even remember what I was going to say. I was going to check to see. Laser Bay is currently at nothing. Okay, but I do have plenty of turrets. I have a lot of turrets on the right and left sides of the front. Along the sides of the ship, which is not bad. Uh, I've not got enough space for one turret on the rear of my vessel, which is eh, not perfect. But, I mean, hey, that might be enough to at least deter, you know, someone sneaking up behind me. And two turrets on the top and two turrets on the bottom. So I've got enough room for a lot of, uh... A lot of possibilities here. So, the big question. Current cargo bay. The hangar size is for about 18 ships. That isn't bad at all. Wait, no, I can't possibly have five turrets. What? Wait, what? How? Maybe I'm reading this wrong. Do I? I wait, what? How many? <laughs> I have five, but that's clearly saying I have 12 on either side. That's a lot of turrets on either side for a broad side, but on the other hand, wait. <laughs> Apparently I can at least dock 18 ships, which is exactly what I was wanting with the, the Kyoto, but I will settle for an interdictor class Star Destroyer just fine. No complaints here at all. And, uh, my current cargo bay capacity is apparently... That's it? 4,500 units. I feel like I have Attention. a lot less. Security. We got a 337 on level 7 in the gen. So we'll just cut that off real quick and upgrade the interdictor one last time here. Let's just go ahead and get some more. Why not? Couldn't hurt. Your cargo bay will be extended by a certain amount of cargo units using subspace cargo bay extension. There. Did I just see... Ah, I thought I saw some weapons, but nope. Okay, so we've got to find a system with some better... better supplies and better weapons than just what we've got at the moment. So, uh, we'll just try and get a jump drive to work here. But first, I'm just gonna go ahead and save real quick, because, <laughs> screw putting anything else to risk. I am saving. I don't want to lose this fine vessel. And, uh, you know what? I need a name for for the interdictor. I, I really do. I really do. So, dear viewers out there, if y'all are liking this, uh, this episode, and believe me, I am, then please, by all means, uh, go ahead and Leave your suggestions for ship names behind. Ah, oh, cool, that's what I dock on. This huge arm. Nice. Let's go ahead and uh, command my other property here to uh, dock with me real quick. I wonder if I could actually dock Katana as well. That would be amazing. That would be perfect. I would have two ships for the price of one. <laughs> that would be awesome. Dock at in the system I believe Docking granted. at my Command own accepted. ship please <laughs> it's awesome all right I will actually have to adjust a uh, friend and foe and the like Argon definitely foe <laughs> and uh, I'll have to start creating fleet. Oh god, <laughs> this is gonna add a whole bunch of other. Oh no, oh no, oh dear. Said so my home base is this, I think. I think that's what I'm doing. I think I'm doing this right. And uh, command accepted. Protect me. But first, dock, please. Is it is it docking? Yes. Let me, let me pull this up in my uh, display on my monitor. Shift two. I'll have to remember that. Let's see. Where are you? Well, you're moving. I think. How far away are you? <laughs> oh, the woes of just trying to figure out where the hell. My ships are. Uh... 
I don't know. But we'll just go ahead and get out of the way of the dockyard in case another ship needs to lay anchor, lay space anchor. So this is a very fine ship that has a very spacious hangar bay, which is amazing, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, it still does need work. The engines don't actually light up or emit uh, any kind of propulsion signs, but still, I'm hopeful that the uh, mod designer will, uh, the mod creator will continue to work on these fine ships and tweak things just a little bit more, make things all the more beautiful. Really loving that interior right there, like especially the. I just makes you just want to fly up inside there. That's awesome. <laughs> I just love it. I wish I could walk around inside the ship. But uh, so yeah, it's about eight kilometers away. We'll just uh, just see what happens when it gets a little bit closer here. See what happens when the ethereal damsel actually finally reaches my. Uh, a Star Destroyer? Look, I can dream, okay? It's I know it's not a Star Destroyer, but it's close enough, okay? Don't take my dreams, damn it. It's all I got. I don't even know what I was doing with the camera there. Where is it? It says it's close. Oh yeah, it's close. It's right over there. Sweet. And now, in, in Hurlovision, I'm, I'm so sorry for that. I'm just gonna, just gonna speed this up a little bit because it's taking forever. This is just taking forever right here. And uh, where are you going? Where do you think you're going there? Making docking procedures here. And yes, <laughs> I love it, yes! It is so much bigger than I thought it was. The Spring Blossom is, is actually quite big. And I know you could make some really cheap jokes right there. But hey, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let you think them. I know you were thinking of them. And bam, successfully docked. So, so nice, that is so awesome. So, now I just need to figure out where to go to jump to uh, equip my station. Equip my ship, I should say. What the hell am I talking about? I think the moon would be nice. What happened to the Earth? What happened to... What? Uh, let's see. We've got another shipyard by the moon. An orbital defense station. A supply base. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with the... The moon sounds like a... Like a good bet here. So let's just go ahead and travel back to the moon. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. How much was that going to cost? 120 energy cells. Ho, 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 hot damn. <laughs> uh... In the past times, Earth Moon was little more than a glimmer in the dreams held within those who gazed upon it. The cratered surface is now glittering with countless refineries and bases. Few will ever remember it as being anything more than a stepping stone to the stars. That's that's nice. That's good. I have a jump beacon here. I guess, or there there just jump is one available. Jump charging at ten percent, twenty, thirty. Go, Chewie. 40, 50%. Engage the hyperdrive. 60, 70, 80, 90. Jumping. Jump. Punch it. Oh, that's so good. Entering system, the moon. <laughs> so good! Oh my god, I never would have expected that I would just be flying a Star Destroyer towards the Earth. <laughs> so good! Oh my god, yes. This is so nice. This is so awesome. 
Oh, I can't wait to take this baby out for a spin. <laughs> Shoot down some other ships with it. As soon as I can actually equip this uh, Star Destroyer. Oh, good. I still keep my spring... Uh, blah, 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 blah. The spring blossom attached to me. Thank goodness for that. At least I've got something to be able to help fight enemy ships with. God, I'm so small compared to everything else. <laughs> it really puts it into perspective. You know, we should just equip that station over there on the left with engines and then bam, there you go. There's a capital ship for you. I don't even think I can go through gates. I think I have to use jump drives to travel. <laughs> so good. I just... I can't get over how awesome that is. <laughs> uh, I need to I need to exchange some things real quick while I slowly travel through here. Freight, let's see. Freight exchange. I need my energy cells all transported over. Thank you. Energy cells transferred. Alright, my cargo hold is not nearly as large as I'd like it to be, but that's fine. And let's see, sector wise, what can I go to? I could probably head over to the shipyard, I suppose, maybe the military base. I don't know what actually carries upgrades that I need. Oh, I can check them from here. Thank good golly. <laughs> Alright, those are the forges. Can I upgrade my ship from here? Oh, I can actually afford, uh, I don't have enough reputation to get the Odin or the Imperial Star Destroyer 2 class, but I could get a Star Destroyer 1 class. Several differences existed between the Imperial 1 and 2 class Star Destroyers and the, really, Stock Exchange, you're gonna cut in like that? Is it, is it, it's never Your gonna... Notoriety is too She's never gonna, never gonna say that ever again. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep on moving then. I'm just gonna go ahead and have you autopilot, Duck. Granted. Autopilot activated. Oh, thank God I had an autopilot engaged. Thank God I decided to upgrade that. <laughs> uh, can you imagine manually docking this thing? I would, no, no to that. Let me see if I can continue to read that. <clears throat> the Imperial Class Star Destroyer, known as the Imperial Class 1 Star Destroyer, or the Imperial Imperator Class Star Destroyer, was an iconic class of warship designed by Lyra Wessex and built by Kuat Drive Yards. The Imperial Class Star Destroyers, along with Imperial stormtroopers represented the might of the Imperial military throughout the galaxy during the reign of the Galactic Empire. All right, cool. That's about that's about all you're hearing from it. That's that's a uh, that's it right there. We're not gonna say any more. Uh, cool. There's a strike class ship as well. Hmm. Now, what was the? Yes, yes, yes. The replacement of the tractor beam, and uh, what else you say? Targeting array between the command tower sensor globes with the communications tower, as well as an imperial defense weapon array. Nice. Alrighty. So I figure I'll just go ahead and buy a bunch of cheap. I think I'll just buy a bunch of cheap little staff fighters and staff my. Uh, interdicted with them. At least that way I can deploy multiple fighters at once. <laughs> that should be fun. That should be nice. I just need to get a little bit more money than that. Oh wow, I can actually get the Kyoto and the Yokohama and all these other ships. <laughs> nice. Although I think, ah oh, no, I, I gotta, I gotta staff it with the, uh, I gotta staff it with the the traditional Tie Fighter. I mean, it's the Tie Fighter for goodness' sake. I've gotta staff an Imperial Star Destroyer with that. I got to. 
Now the big question is, what can I actually upgrade these ships with? I could order them right now. <laughs> I could actually do that. I could just buy one real quick and uh, see what I can equip it with. I can't remember what the size with these S, M, and L stands for. really don't remember that. But it's only 100,000. It's not that bad. Ship ordered at shipyard. Let's see here. We can equip a it with sea ration or combat ration consists of a small array of dry but highly nutritious food. Nice. I can equip it with some weapons and such. Nice. A weapon mostly found on some medium to larger sized fighter craft. The Earth Fleet's powerful and highly advanced electromagnetic plasma cannon is the most common weapon found on Terran fighters. It uses powerful EM field generators to propel concentrated plasma bolts at enemies. Alright, so... It looks like I can go to the station and equip everything I need with it. So, I have a heading. I have a mission to equip my uh, Star Destroyer with turrets for, for goodness sake I need I need actual turrets for God's sake please <laughs> I don't they don't actually have any in stock what 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 are you talking about a deadly weapon found on frigates destroyers and carriers commonly used by United Space Command capital ships the starburst shockwave cannon is an advanced energy-based version of the rather rudimentary flak weapons used by other races a projectile is fired outwards until at maximum range it activates sending powerful energy waves outwards damaging any nearby ships it's not entirely what this does anymore, but, uh, yeah, okay, cool, we got turbo laser towers, times two. Uh, that'll be better than nothing, I guess, for right now. Why did, where did I get this money? What? what? Where do I keep getting money from? I guess, huh, I guess the ship that I had automated over there to trade and sell shit is still doing stuff, nice. Uh, let's see here. If that's the case, it's awesome. During the Boron campaign, they gave their fighter pilots an advantage by enabling them to spot fighter crafts from long distances. Since then, the product has been adapted by the commercial. Yeah, I need to need to definitely upgrade my ship. The production a bit. of this advanced uh... hull plating, a C ration or combat ration, consists of a small array. I might as well go ahead and upgrade these. Your cargo bay will be extended by a certain amount of cargo units oh, using wait. subspace compression products. I don't want to. I don't bought. care about its. I don't really care about its uh, cargo bay. This but its agility, I do kind of concern this myself with. This is a time limited special available only now. Rudder optimization installed. Yeah. So I will go ahead and hurry up and dock with this station then, and. Uh, We'll just uh, carry on a wayward way. Am I just spinning around the station trying to figure out how to dock with it? Is that is that what we're doing right now? Nah, I think we're on the... Right. <laughs> Military base. That's, that's not what we're trying to dock at. Where are we going? What are Solar we... power plant. What are we doing, XL game? Alpha. Autopilot off. Yeah. I gotta stop that. Let's see here. Yeah, sector map. Shipyard, please. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Please. Just go forward. Dock. Make it so. So yeah, well the ship continues to flounder about not really knowing what the hell it's doing. I guess I will just go ahead and say that yeah, I'll be trying to... <sighs> Is this thing even getting any closer to it? 
Is this is this just a waste of time? Should I just should I just call it quits? Just be like, nope. <sighs> oh, okay, looks like it's working. All right, uh, it's it's going, it's going places. We're doing things, we're seeing things, we're meeting people, we're doing. Shipyard. We're kind of kind of doing things. We're just avoiding other ships, I guess. All right, that's fine. That's fine. This is okay. This is, I can deal with this. Uh, yeah, so my plans ultimately are to equip this ship with a multitude of fighters and uh, properly equipped fighters, not just uh, one that doesn't have any weapon system <laughs> installed. Uh, kind of pointless to send out a fighter if it doesn't actually have guns. But hey, at least it'd be a great distraction. <laughs> and, uh,. Yeah, we'll just uh someday figure out where the hell this Where are you going, Star Destroyer? You need to be going there. Right there. You're going south away from it. <laughs> so ultimately what I hope to do is to uh afford enough ships to be able to stock this interdictor up. And take the fight to the rebels once and for all. <laughs> I, uh. Ah, oh, yeah, we're in the right spot. Good. Definitely cannot wait. And I, uh. Once again, let me know in the comments if you'd like to. Me for. To just skip ahead. Skip all this. Because it's gonna take forever. I mean, I'm in a freaking Star Destroyer for goodness sake <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen we're just gonna get there like lickety split hell no this is a Star Destroyer it's gonna take its slow ass time and be all powerful and menacing <laughs> don't worry I'm not leaving the comfort of my spring blossom I just wanted to at least finally have a mobile base something with which to be able to dock and uh Rest in the comfort that, hey, this thing's got enough armor to be able to withstand, uh, most, most, uh, small ships, at least. <laughs> at least an X-Wing. Come on, it should be able to handle that, right? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's got about 196,000 hulls, so, I mean, compare that with, uh, uh, let's just let's just real quick compare that with my uh, with the ethereal damsel. Let's let's just see what happens. It's uh, well, hot damn! I guess I was wrong. <laughs> it isn't. Wait, what? Really? Is it still that strong? That hmm. Yeah, it's not too far off from uh. <laughs> that is embarrassing as all hell, but I can carry multiple ships. That's another nice, uh, nice little fact there. At least I can deploy multiple fighters when I can afford it. <laughs> damn, hot damn. I did not realize that the Spring Blossom was that overpowered. <laughs> that is, that was an oversight on my part right there. But still, I, I needed the bridge. I needed this bridge. This bridge... I deserve this bridge. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I, I deserve this right now. This is this is what I wanted. I wanted a ship that was capable of kicking ass and at least looking freaking cool when it's kicking ass. I'll see how well it actually handles in uh, a real engagement and... Uh, Move on from there. Just gonna speed this up just a tiny bit because this is this is far, far, far away and way too damn long. Damn it! I've been I've been wanting to just be able to look out from. This is like what I've always dreamed about was the whole like yeah you know you always saw the bridge of a star destroyer but you never actually got to see the inside of it the interior the architecture and I freaking adore it. <laughs> it's just too nice. Uh. Finally, too. Do you able to just watch a battle going on from the bridge? So, yes. I definitely love 
I love this mod so much. Successfully docked. Heroes of Earth and Sol are afforded a special welcome. Your presence here is an honor. Connection to local trading network established. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep these saves in the uh, bottom too. Just in case I shot myself in the foot by buying all these, uh... Attention! Main by buying all these upgrades. We'll find out. We'll, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll, uh... Oh, hey. I could buy more of that. Salvage insurance allows a recoverable program to be put into operation that will enable the yeah, pilot I will. to retrieve vital... I will definitely buy that. Thank you very much. The and, uh... Can I not install... Can I not install a big shield? I guess. The one gigajoule shield is one of the most powerful protection systems known, and yeah, I'd like to be able to equip it with that, but I can't. Apparently, I guess. Docking computer. This device enables ships to lock on to and decode a space station's guidance beacon. The beacon transmits signals to the ship's docking computer to adjust speed and direction needed to aid the automatic docking process. Docking computer installed. I think I might need that. I'm not 100% sure. I could get it. <laughs> I could just get some kind of like, yeah, let me make this into a Using something else. Let me make this into a trading ship or a mining ship yeah sure installed that's what i need that's exactly what i need <laughs> the product ac i need to buy one of a deadly weapon found on frigates destroyers and carriers common i can't a weapon mostly why why can't i why can't i equipped I probably didn't read something. The production of this advanced hull plating made from a mixture of traditional metals and advanced... Hmm. There was probably something I did not read. Ha ha ha. <laughs> and I will have to look into it a little bit later. In the meantime, I am going to go to sleep pretty soon here and... Try to figure this all out later. What, what is the freight? Or am I just carrying all plates? Oh, those are goods, aren't they? They're not actually hull plating that's increasing the ex uh, hull of my ship, is it? Oh. Oh, okay. Let me just uh, stop being dumb and remember that... Oh, wait, no. This hull plating probably is not... The production of this advanced hull plating, so... Th that was just... Yes, that was just hull... That was just sitting in my hull. My hold. Great. Okay. <laughs> that was so dumb of me, and I feel so bad right now. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> hull plating, so... We'll just uh, we'll just pretend that never just happened. Okay, thanks. Cool game, cool. The one gigajoule shield is one of the most powerful protection systems known, and was once used on most carriers and destroyers. It is now typically used on frigates and some other capital ships. Can Shields I... are vital for survival in space. They protect the ship during combat TC. and from. TC. What what are my what are my limits and let me, let me learn again with the uh, with you the viewer real quick before I do call this a day and uh, figure out what kind of TC I can have extra large okay so with that in mind I'm gonna go ahead and quickly buy some things that I actually need for this ship like uh, the TC turbo laser that one's gonna be pretty good. A deadly good. weapon be... found on frigates to starburst that'll shockwave be... cannon bought. That'll be pretty good. That'll be that'll be helpful. Hopefully. Uh, I wonder if I should just put it on the ass of my ship. 
maybe. Maybe just on the top of my ship then. And, uh, what else can I buy? What else can I afford? Who am I kidding? I probably should have two of these. Hmm. I wish I could buy that. <laughs> I really a wish I could. Weapon found on frigates destroy but I'll just buy a, a Giga Jewel Shield here. The two Giga Jewel Shield is the most. Because, the uh, why not? Why not, I dare say? The one Giga Jewel Shield is one of the most powerful protection systems known. Hmm. The two Giga Jewel. The two Jewel. Giga Jewel Shield is the most powerful protection known. Typically used by large installations and capital ships. Two Giga Jewel Shield bought this. All right, I have no money. <laughs> Let me sink all of my money into one basket real quick here. That's exactly what I wanted to do. That is precisely what I was wanting to do. <laughs> Crap on a stick. I don't know how to really equip this. Damn it. This shipyard serves as a USC ship production. Hmm. Okay, so here's where I can install. Attention on the flight deck. A ship is landing. Oh, good God. That's a lot of freaking uh, weapons I can put on. Wow. <laughs> Why, why is that, why is that a no? Why is that a... I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up big time. It can't actually support that because I didn't bother to read what kind of turrets I can use. Hot damn. <laughs> oh, oh, this game. This game is very good, but also very, very, very confusing. So, I will just go ahead and rely on that last autosave before I fucked everything up. And, uh, I will see y'all later. This is Draku, and I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Bye for now.